He's an international peace icon who helped India gain independence. And his ideology of non-violent resistance continues to inspire leaders and revolutionaries. But his legacy is changing in some parts of the world. This statue was removed from a university in Ghana after students rallied against it, or because they say that Mahatma Gandhi was racist. A statue of the leader was also protested in California and another one was vandalized in South Africa. But was Gandhi racist? Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born in India, trained as a lawyer in England and worked in South Africa for more than 20 years. He experienced his first act of racial discrimination when he was thrown off a first-class cabin off a train in South Africa, despite having a ticket. It prompted him to mobilize the community to march, boycott and fast. He developed Satyagraha, a non-violent resistance and was imprisoned five times in South Africa. When he returned to India in 1915, he became a leader in the Indian National Congress and fought for independence against British rule. One of his boldest acts of civil disobedience was leading the Salt March to protest the British government's monopoly on salt. In 1947, India gained independence from Britain. Six months later, Gandhi was assassinated by a Hindu extremist. Even after his death, he continues to inspire civil rights movements across the world. But it was Gandhi's early writings in South Africa that have cast a shadow on his legacy. During a speech in Mumbai in 1896, he spoke of the savage, half-heathen natives who spend their lives in indolence and nakedness. He used the derogatory slur for blacks in South Africa, Kafir, liberally in his writings. Some accuse Gandhi of believing in the superiority of the Aryan race, thinking that blacks were inferior to whites and Indians. In fact, one of the first legal battles Gandhi fought for in South Africa was to demand a separate entrance for Indians at post offices, so they were not classed with blacks. So why do many see Gandhi as an icon of justice? Critics of Gandhi say that his writings from his stay in South Africa contrast with what he wrote in his autobiography later on in life. He effectively tidied up some of his earlier views. But others counter this portrayal of Gandhi. They say that his prejudice was born out of a colonial context and reinforced by the fact that at this stage he had had little contact with Africans. And after serving as a volunteer to injured Zulus during the Boer War in South Africa, he realized the brutality of whites against blacks and some of his views changed. Nelson Mandela, an anti-apartheid hero, has called Gandhi a hero. In 1995, he wrote that Gandhi must be forgiven and judged in the context of time and circumstances. So, is Gandhi's legacy under threat?